welcome to the the Trey Mansion. That's what I like to call it. <laughs> okay. Ugh. We'll start downstairs. Uh, it's like the lounge area. I say the smaller family room. Um, pictures. Y'all, y'all can get a, a little bit of baby pictures. Um, here's the kitchen. To my granddaddy in here. <laughs> um, living room. Uh, here's some baby pictures right here, actually. Uh, one right here. Um, few. That's up in the tree. What are the rest of them? Oh, here goes some good ones. Um, a good one up here. That's my probably my favorite one. Me and my Auntie Kelly. Um, like to spend a little bit of records. I love music. Love music. There you go. That's great. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Um, this. I say where all the magic happened. Well, usually everybody's in here. Sometimes my granddad stretch me down there. ESPN. The dog actually is in here. That's our whole family up here. Um, my grandparents have six kids, and I'm the only grandkid. You know what that means? <laughs> uh, let's see who's upstairs. That's a lot of stuff. You see the angels up there. Uh, come in. We'll go to the study room first. If I am home, need to do work, quiet place. Come in, close the door, get straight to work. It don't take too long. Get out the way quick. Uh, here's one of the uh, guest rooms. Whenever anybody comes over, sleep in here. Um, I think this is the right here. This is the war room. Um, if you find a war, come and pray. So a lot of big religious stuff in here. Um, come back out. Make that hard left. Here's a closet. Um, here's my room. Sleep too good. Get hot. Put the fan straight on. You see the label? I hope y'all see the label. <laughs> you see the Georgia label. Um, I don't know if he wants to go in here. Laundry room here. Here's the grandparents' room. The biggest room in the house. Um, not too much in here. They're barely in here themselves. I'm in here more than them. Um, what else? Oh, the backyard. Six, seven years old, play catch. My granddad, every time I came over. Um, the dog, now it's just the dog run back here. He does a lot of plant work. You can see those up there. He did work on these a lot. He built, um, actually built all that by himself. Made uh, the stand for the swing, bought the swing. Um, we come out here sometimes, may run. Not too much, because it's not level, so it's not really good for my shins. Uh, I saw a bulldog out here. We've been a bulldog. Here it is. See the bulldog? Been a bulldog family. Well, I actually played at Georgia. And yeah, that's really it. Not too much besides the tennis court down the street and the swimming pool, but yeah, that's my house.
Yeah. I just got these too. We're gonna see how that goes today. I think these. We're gonna see that. Trey, so give me like daily routines and all that. Um, normal day, wake up around seven ish, eat breakfast till about seven thirty. Uh, take care of myself, like brush my teeth, wash my face. School, uh, we got online schooling from eight to twelve. I'm gonna get a snack in between about ten thirty and come back in. Uh, after twelve, uh, lunch. Uh, depending on what the day is, they'll cook it for us. Then I go in, take a nap before practice at one, about a 20 minute nap. Get to practice at about 12.45. Stretch from about one to one, 120. Uh, infielders, uh, we'll go in, do drills with each other, take ground balls, go outside, long toss for about 10, 20 minutes. And we'll come in, just do T-work, drills, uh, front toss for about 40 minutes, uh, about 10 to 15 minute break, um, granola bar protein for you lift. Depending on the day is what we'll lift. Uh, Monday, we'll do chest, Tuesdays, biceps, Wednesday, shoulders, Thursdays, triceps, and Fridays, legs. Um, after we lift, coach will throw us BP for about an hour. We split up in different groups. After BP, we'll do a little bit of abs. It depends on the day. We'll do a lot of hard abs and no conditioning, or a little bit of abs and a little bit of conditioning, or no abs and lots of conditioning. After that, we'll have about 15 minutes to clean it up. Um, practice be over, and go in back into the dorms, eat dinner, shower, and after that, really that's just the rest of my day. It'll be about 7.30 by that time. If I have score that I can do, I'll do a little bit of extra so I won't have to stay in school as long. If not, then really just relaxing the rest of the day. Um, may go back in and stretch before I go to sleep. Uh, and after that, the day is all over. Wake up, do it all over again. What do you do other than baseball, like hobbies wise? Um, every now and then, not too often. I, lo I like to play a little bit of PS4. I get on Madden a little bit. Gotcha. What are you I am game? the best yeah. in Madden. There you go. I am the best. Um, nobody seen me in Madden, the show, or 2K. Gotcha. Um, if I'm not on the game, I love being with my family a lot, as you can see. Uh, to the last two nights, 
I actually stayed at my grandparents' house, just spending time. It's just a thing I was brought up doing. We have a big family, so just being around them just makes their and my day even just better. Um, if I'm not spending time with family, I, I'll probably be with a friend. I'm a, uh, I have one younger brother uh, on my dad's side, but on my mom's side, I'm the only child. So I'm used to like having a lot of people around me. So I may invite two, three friends over or maybe we'll hang out with them. And besides those three things, that's really it. I wouldn't say I party too much or anything. Um, have I before? Yeah, but that's probably it. I don't do too much outside of baseball. Gotcha. There's not too much to do outside of mm -hmm. baseball. What would you say, when was your first homer, every home run, what would you remember, your first home run? I was six years old at a field, it's called Hidden Valley in the Atlanta area. We were in coach pitch, I remember like it was yesterday, we played against, uh, the name of this, the Gamers. I hit the home run, I didn't even think it was, I was running around the bases like it didn't even happen. And then I got home, my dad was like, you know you can stop running, right? And I, I just... I like, I don't even think I was paying attention for the rest of the game. I was too happy that I just hit the home run. Gotcha. And then what would you say is like your favorite like baseball memory? Or just Fav anything? Favorite memory? Mm -hmm. um, definitely when we were eight. Mm, yeah, when we were eight, we had a World Series game against the Wolfpack. We played, the game started at nine o'clock. And it was, back then, I think we still played seven innings. We were losing six. This was the semifinal game. The, the championship was the next day at 9 a.m. So we start at 9 p.m. due to, like, rain, and then we had to wait. And we were down 6-1 going into the bottom of the last inning. It was, we got down to two outs. And somehow, three people got walked. I came up, hit a double, and three people scored, and then we just kept going, and we ended up walking it off 7-6, and I don't think the game was over to about, I think we stopped at 2 a.m., because some of us, uh, even our parents that lived too far, we had to spend a night in the parking lot and wake up, go play again the next morning, and we actually ended up winning. What would be, so what would you recommend guys trying to get into college baseball, trying to play and get some offers just to pick up a place of baseball, college baseball? I would say work a lot like work hard like it's it's way more to being a d1 athlete than you think it is um just work be i would say be patient don't think okay i'm not getting recruited by this time i'm not gonna have any uh colleges look at me or colleges are looking at me now i say work hard but be patient at the same time because you can you can be going to your senior year and not have not one college look at you and the last day of recruiting somebody may you may get a phone call and it may be the blessing uh, just a blessing to have any college hit your phone and the other thing i'll say is hustle i know a few guys who are in college now who got a scholarship i think he went 0 for 10 in a tournament and he got a scholarship literally just for running on and off the field every time Hardest pitcher you've ever faced, or like you've seen that's like, wow, like he just, his arm is just insane. Mm, the hardest pitcher, that's, Let's Go's pretty hard. Wow. He's difficult. Mm -hmm. um, Let's Go was a hard pitcher. Um, James Hayes. Gotcha. Uh, he's also going to Georgia. Mm -hmm. James is pretty hard. Riker, um, Riker Chavis is pretty hard. He's a crafty lefty. Mm -hmm. Those are probably the top three gotcha. that I had to go against. Is there anything you want to talk about or anything or anything special? Um, Maybe to the youth or anything? To the youth? Mm -hmm. um, I want to say don't don't let too many people determine there your, you fe determine your little future. Little, little right there, there you go. <laughs> the granddad in the back. There you go. Um, don't let too many people determine your future. Yep. Find maybe two, three people you can trust, and you make sure they have credibility. Uh, credibility. Mm -hmm. Make sure you can trust them, yep. and you want to stay with those guys. You don't want to be everywhere doing 
um, with anybody just doing whatever you think could be the best at that moment. It may not be um, what works straight off the rip, but if you got trust in them, just trust them and sit back and enjoy your time. What would you say like motivates you to like play baseball and just in life in general? My dad plays a big part. He played baseball himself. I, I still remember to this day um, going out every single day after school. And at the time, I was just like, there's no way, like, there's no way we're doing this. Like, I just, I didn't, I liked baseball, but I didn't love it. So then I would say my dad probably plays the biggest, the biggest role. Um, even to this day, he still, because he, he was my, he's been my coach every year, my travel ball coach every year. And I can always depend on him if I need, <laughs> if I need something. Yeah, the bump. If I need something um, baseball related. Another person is my mom. She'll she'll support me. I can have the worst game of my life. I know I can talk to my mom about it. I can have the best game of my life. I'm gonna hear my mom in the stands. You may hear it from the parking lot. Gotcha. Um, and also, my grandmother. She's she's always she's probably the biggest religious person I know, and just that part like even being religious is part of the game to me um you gotta know like who you're doing it for who has your back through everything and sh i know she'll always be there